So I'm going to do something a little different this week. I'm going to review a television show. Today I'm going to review the television show Grimm. Grimm is an interesting television show. It's a show about a cop named uh, Nick Burkhart, a homicide detective in Portland, Oregon, who suddenly finds out that he is one of the latest in the long line of Grimm's, as in the Brothers Grimm is in fairy tales. And who the Grimm's are? They're monster hunters, quite a bit like the hunters in the other television show, Supernatural. Only they all have a family relationship. And in this show, the monsters that we know from fairy tales are actually a particular type of offshoot of humanity, supernatural-ish, called Varen. And there are many, many different kinds of Varen, and the Grimm exists for one purpose, and that is to hunt the Varen down and kill them. So the upside of Grimm. Grimm is very interesting in its take on who Nick is. Nick is first and foremost a police officer, and when the show gets traction, and it takes a while to get that traction, it focuses on the fact that he's not just any cop, he's a good cop, and the show begins to focus on the police work, and it never works better than when it's focusing on the police work. I also like the fact that Nick never feels the need to explain the supernatural stuff away to everyone who asks him a question. Almost every other show like this, the guy feels the need to try to make this stuff make sense for other people. Nick just says, I don't know. He said he's just as confused as the rest of them. How did this thing jump 20 yards and walk through a closed door? Uh, I don't know. You saw the same thing I did. Nick doesn't care about the explanation. He just cares about catching the bad guys. Um, I find that refreshing and very, very intelligent of the character. He's not Mulder who's going to go into court and tell the judge and the jury the truth about Victor Toombs, which is going to cause Victor Toombs to be released to kill again. This is the guy who's like, nope, we got this guy in custody, why should I tell the truth? The truth is out there, but the truth is not as important as the bad guy being out there. I'm catching the bad guy, let the truth settle itself. I love that about this show. The downside. The downside is the show's initial similarity to Supernatural. Over the first four episodes of the show, it seems like it's going to be a straight-up supernatural clone, and that really doesn't work. It isn't until you get past those first four episodes and the show goes in a different direction via the police work that the show becomes its own entity. And that is where the show lives. So finally, uh, the review. The, the My opinion of the show is... It's a good show. It's a very good show, and it has a lot of potential. It's a pretty young show out there. It doesn't have as, as many episodes under its belt as something like Supernatural. But it's going to get there, and it's good enough that it deserves to get there. I've got to give this show... I honestly have to give it four stars. I was thinking more three, but when you get past those first four episodes, yeah, this is a four-star show. And it has the potential to reach higher. This is a good show that's becoming a great one. And I'm having a lot of fun watching it. Can't wait for the next few seasons. So have you seen Grimm? And have you seen Supernatural? What do you think the comparison is between the two? Both shows are in a way buddy shows. They're both shows about two people investigating things. Which one do you think has the better chemistry? Which one is your favorite? Let me know.